Hey, what's up, weird person watching this video? I'm not Tom Hanks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, before I begin today's video about everyone's favorite spoiled brat, I wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, so we've moved our subscriber goal to April 1st, so by April Fool's Day, we are looking to have 1,000 subscribers. So if you could, hit that subscribe button down below. That would help me out a lot, and I would appreciate it. Now, let's talk about Caillou. So if you haven't heard, PVS Kids announced on January 5th, 2021, that after 24 years, Caillou is finally going to be taken off the air for good. There won't be any more reruns of it. No one's going to have to see this entitled kid again. It's over. The reign of terror of Caillou is over. And everyone cheered. Seriously, I honestly don't know a single person that liked Caillou as a kid. Other than myself. Yeah, for some reason, I actually really enjoyed watching Caillou as a kid. That's why when people started making fun of Caillou for being a spoiled brat, which he is, I was defending him like he was my little brother. However, going back and watching this show for the first time since I was like, I don't know, probably seven or so years old, I see why people hated Caillou now. Caillou is the least likable character in anything ever. So I sat down and watched four episodes of Caillou, mostly because four is about as many episodes that I can stomach. I tried to be as fair as possible by watching some of the episodes that people have claimed are the worst and some of the episodes that people claim are the best. There's a problem with that, though. The only problem with any of the good episodes is that they're just not bad episodes. I wouldn't call them necessarily good episodes. They were just really, really boring episodes where Caillou doesn't throw a temper tantrum. That's about the only difference between a good episode of Caillou and a bad episode of Caillou. So there aren't really any good episodes for this show. I did, however, manage to watch some really bad episodes. The most infamous episode of Caillou tends to be this episode entitled Big Brother Caillou. So the old episode started with this other lady reading her two preteen-looking children stories about a four-year-old. I don't really understand why anyone over the age of four would be reading a book about Caillou the four-year-old, but I guess these preteens just love them some Caillou stories with Grandma. Anyways, Caillou's mom is pregnant with Caillou's soon-to-be sister, Rosie. They said, fuck the birds and the bees, we're just gonna get straight to the point. Rosie gets brought in, and literally ten seconds afterwards, Caillou is already jealous of her. Like, dude, she's new. You're two and a half years old, and something new gets brought in. I think people are going to pay attention to the th new thing. You're kind of old news at this point, Caillou. Chill the fuck out. So Caillou decides to go into his room by himself. He then proceeds to be upset that no one is paying him any attention, after he went into a room all by himself. Come on, Caillou didn't even try to get his parents' attention. Like, I would kind of understand his point if he would have showed that he was trying to get their attention and they would only pay attention to Rosie and maybe that happened a couple of times throughout the day, like this plot is typically done. But this is Caillou we're talking about. Like, I've seen other plots like this before, tip, particularly in Rugrats, and they actually did a pretty good job of doing this trope. So Caillou decides that if he cannot get any attention by being alone in his room forever, that he will attempt to throw a temper tantrum in front of Daddy. Yeah, no, I, I'm not calling him that. What, what's his actual name? So his name is Boris. Yeah, so anyways, his name's Daddy. Yeah, so anyways, Daddy is rocking Rosie, and he offers Caillou to rock the baby, to which Caillou politely refuses. No! Now, this episode was actually banned in America due to this next scene right here. Caillou decides that while Daddy's back is turned, he will... pinch Rosie. Why? What do you get out of pinching something that won't fight back? And you know what the saddest part of all this is? Caillou doesn't even get punished for doing this. Daddy just tells him not to do it again. Like, I'm not for hitting or spanking children or anything like that, but... 
You can't just let him walk scot-free doing that. Think about the kids that are actually tuning into this program. Next thing you know, pinching babies is going to become the next big meme on TikTok. All thanks to Kai, you stupid headass. And that's pretty much the episode. It really gives off a bad moral to children, and it just lets Caillou get away with harassing his baby sister that was literally just born. I honestly thought that there couldn't be a worse episode than this, but there is. So out of all the episodes that I watched, uh, two of them were very boring and bland episodes. The other one was Big Brother Caillou. And this episode is Caillou Joins the Circus, and it is the worst episode of anything that I have ever seen up until this date. This is one of the episodes that I actually remember watching as a kid, and even as a kid, in this episode, I thought, damn, Caillou's a dick. Apparently, this episode is also banned in America for Caillou's outlandish behavior during it, and I can honestly see why. Think of the target demographic of this show. Its goal is to teach kids life lessons and morals uh, to kids that are between the ages of four and nine. No four to nine-year-old needs to be acting like Caillou does. If all four to nine-year-olds acted like Caillou, we would no longer be living in a society. Enough procrastinating. I'm just talking to honestly avoid talking about this episode because it pisses me off so much. So Caillou has a dream that he joins the circus. That's because today he thinks he is supposed to go to the circus. He decides to go through the insane trouble of getting dressed by himself and manages to get it done. As he is brushing his teeth in the bathroom, however, Daddy comes in and wonders what's up. Caillou tells him he's ready to go to the circus, however, Daddy says that the circus isn't coming until tomorrow. And even though the circus is still coming, it's just coming tomorrow. It's not like the circus got cancelled or anything, it's still coming tomorrow. Caillou loses his shit. You're still going to the fucking circuit. Do you know how many kids never get the opportunity to go to a circus? You literally just have to wait 24 hours. That's like one-tenth of your lifetime. Daddy even gets pissed about this. He's like, I'm tired of putting up with this little shit. Then he goes in for breakfast behind Daddy and complains about how the food Daddy is offering up is for babies. Then, once again, without getting punished at all for acting like an entitled brat, Caillou gets to get circus animal shaped toast. I never had circus animal shaped toast as a kid. What is this? The episode's always fucking in with Caillou getting whatever the fuck he wants and never changing as a character. And I think that's the main reason as to why PBS Kids stopped broadcasting the show altogether. It was honestly a disgrace to kids and parents everywhere. Parents saw the show and were turned off by the bad parenting and the bad morals that it was teaching their children. Kids saw Caillou as this character that they're supposed to look up to and imitate. However, when Caillou just gets whatever he wants by doing whatever he wants, it doesn't really teach a lot to kids. He's not someone that I want my children watching. So thanks, PBS Kids, for finally getting rid of this little devil child. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go to a witch burning downtown. In the meantime, I'll fill you in with somebody else. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Sup? I'm Ron. Have you ever played Big Brother the game? No. Why the fuck not? Big Brother the Game is a game based on the hit television game show where you can compete against other individuals in a social experiment for a chance to win up to one million dollars. In the game, you will compete for head of household, nominate two people, play in the power of veto to save yourself from elimination, and vote to evict one person every day until there's only one person remaining. You then move up to another tier to compete against other former winners. The people who make it to the top tier will be the ones to have a chance to win the money. Use the link in the description below today to download the game. Well, that was weird. Thanks once again to Big Brother the Game and to Ron for sponsoring this video. If you like what I do here, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before April 1st, which happens to be April Fool's Day. So if you guys could help me out there, that'd be awesome. Also, make sure you guys like and share. And please comment down below what video you guys want to see next for me. Uh, I'm looking to do more videos like this. 
And with you guys' help and your guys' comments, I hopefully can do that in the future. Comment down below what you want me to talk about, and I'll try and make it happen. Until next time, I don't know who the fuck I am anymore. Bye bye